Welcome everybody, we are taking a look at the mole today and how you can solo mine in this massive industrial beast and make millions while doing it. And today we're going to be focusing on mining in the air and halo. So let's get on into the ship and get out there so we can get busy. Here we are back at the Urkel.games calculator. I highly recommend getting familiar with this website and using it to load out your ships. We're going to select the Argo Mole. That's the ship we're focusing on today. And a couple of things we're going to change. Uh, one, you can actually get the Argo Mole here at uh, Lorville, New Deal. It's going to cost you 5.1 million. And then we're going to change the Quantum Drive. We want an XL1 military grade A. You can get that as one of these two retailers right there. And then we're also going to change the Mining laser on the front, we're going to change that to a Lancet MH2. And then the left and the right, we're going to change to impact. I prefer that. I mean, arguably, you could load this thing out however you want to. Uh, but the mining heads you can get um, down here. And um, with that said, let's jump back into game and take a look at how we solo mine in the mole. Alrighty, so we're going to go into the vehicle loadout manager and um, put on the ship all of the things that we talked about at the urkel.games uh, website so i've actually got this thing equipped already utility you can see i've got my impact 2 impact 2 for the left and right turrets and um, lancet mh2 laser um, i actually only have a stampede module loaded in this uh, you could put a surge in there you could put some other stuff in there uh, but then again i do also have the quantum drive the xl1 so that's how this ship is loaded out and that's what we are going to use to go get some delicious quantanium and uh, let's jump out there Alrighty, if this is your first time in the mole it might get a little confusing once you come up the elevator off to the left and right here uh, we have um, the left and right turrets that you would get to uh, which hang off the sides of the ship i jump into them like that i'm not going to do it right now uh, we're landed i don't recommend jumping into those turrets while you are landed because you can blow yourself up so once we get up top here we're going to open this door which takes us into a mess hall right and then back here we're going to go into the bunk area where you could bed log although i never recommend doing that the uh the bed logging function does not quite uh, work the way it should sometimes you wake up and you're in the middle of space and um things just can go awry so the cockpit's way up here and um, the main mining turret is down this ladder there we'll get there in just a moment but let's jump in the pilot seat get out there and find some rocks and now that we're outside of the station, we need to get to the air and halo. And more importantly, we need to get to where there's actually quantanium. So open up your little mappy, you set route to Hurston, turn your quantum drive on, angle over there towards Hurston. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna travel towards Hurston from Arc L1 until we're about 13.6 million kilometers from Hurston. And then we're gonna drop out of quantum by holding B as in Bravo. So. I'm not going to beat you up with uh, waiting for me to get there. I'll cut back in here momentarily. I'll see you soon. And here we come up on 13.6, dropping out of Quantum. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is reset my destination back towards Arc 01 so I have a point to navigate to. There it is, that little red thing. Let's. So we're going to head towards Arc 01, turn the Quantum Drive off. Uh, sometimes you have to turn it back on and turn it back off to actually make it quiet. So you still have the, the sound bug. There we go. Now it's off. I want to change my uh, scan angle to 180 degrees. And then we're going to hit tab and get some signatures and just start flying to them until we actually find some good rocks. So uh, let's head towards these. And uh, once I get close to them, I'll cut back in once we have something worthwhile. All right, we found a patch of Quantanium here. And uh, it didn't scan at first, actually, until my uh, my buddy over here, Crazy Horse, showed up. And then all of a sudden, the rocks had that little purple halo around them. So I thought all hope was lost. But we're going to move in towards this rock right here, which is a, um, a 4,600 mass rock, 31%. Not the largest, um, but for the purposes of this video, to show you how to solo mine, uh, it'll work just fine. So we're going to move the rock off the screen uh, we're going to get about 70 to 80 uh, meters off of it move it off the screen so it's kind of in front of that little radar we're going to jump out of the pilot seat 
and head down to that bottom turret, which is, if it lets me out of the cockpit, come on, oh my goodness, there we go, down here, we just jump down and jump in the turret, Crazy's gonna keep flying around us, shooting lasers, and doing the things in the Banu uh, with that sexy paint job. So once we're in the turret, we should have pretty good maneuverability, we do. It's already powered up, but if it's the first time powering up the um, turret on the mole, the power button is right here. So let's get this fired up. Let's start heating this rock up. And uh, we don't have a surge, so I'll cut back once we are in the green. Alrighty, we're approaching the optimal. I'm going to start throttling down. I'm going to activate my stampede, which will rocket us through the optimal here. Um, you don't want to go into overcharge because just as fast as it moves you through optimal, it moves you just as fast through the optimal. So now that we've got this thing cracked, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, we're going to start looking at the different chunks that broke off of this thing and identify the ones that have the most Q in them. So, um, you know how to break rocks, or at least I hope you do. Look at Crazy Horse flying around, acting all cool. Uh, I'm going to break the rest of these up and then cut back once we're ready to extract. Alrighty, and with a 4,600 mass rock in the mole, we've got 96 SCU worth of storage space, so you really don't need to be terribly judicious in what you vacuum up if it's only a single rock. Uh, I'm just going to start sucking everything up and it's not going to matter. So um, I, I think you've seen a rock extraction before. I'm going to vacuum this up and then we'll cut back to heading back to the station. And there we go. We've got every last little bit that we could possibly vacuum up. It's only to just under 23 SCU worth of Q, so not a massive haul, but not anything to disregard either. We're going to get out of the mining laser chair and then back up the ramp or the ladder if I don't slip off the damn thing. Jump back into the pilot seat, and I'm going to assume that you all know how to get back to the refinery and land. But one little thing that we need to touch on, uh, whatever they did in 17.2 here with this update, uh, double click on Arc L1 and then move your thingy over here and actually select the Arc L1 wide force station. It's going to jump you to Arc L1 and then to the actual station itself. So with all of that said, thanks for tuning in. And until next time, Fly Dangerous. We'll see y'all around.